What the? <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> Welcome back to Blar, Random Rick Reviews. We have Lady J. Got on sale for eight bucks. It was on clearance because this box is pretty beat up. Semi opened, so we're going to open it up. Uh, car is also bent, but it does have a complete file card. This is a huge plus, in my opinion. And you got the who's going to be in the list or in this little series here Baroness, Lady J, uh, Gunho, and Destro. So Destro and her were on sale also, I think, for $14 at Walmart. So instead of $24, they're $14. So yeah, marked down from $24.97 to $8 in the clearance aisle. So she's always in stock, but for eight bucks, probably worth it, I think. I mean, I don't mind Lady J. I think I like Scarlet a little bit better. But for eight dollars, the G.I. Joe figure looks pretty good. I think it's a good deal. Uh, we're going to open it up, of course, because it's already pretty much been tampered with, maybe. So I'm going to try to leave that back card intact, though. Go. Uh, she taped in maybe. Oh, okay. So, go. Does come with a stand. So this is my first purchase of like this series. I think uh, the rest are like the classified or like in the the uh, cardboard box ones. So I don't know if this is like their basic line, which wouldn't make too much sense to me since it has a. I don't know. The fact that it has this card. It's huge. I know I keep saying that it's because their classified series it does not. It just has uh, some art on the back. Like, let me grab one. Let me grab one here. So you have like Zaymont. You have a very cool art picture. That's cool. But I think all G.I. Joe fans would agree that this is better. This is a G.I. Joe feel. This is what we grew up with it has stats it tells you a background about the person cool art's fine but this is way better Hold. what the <laughs> um all right <laughs> i did not expect that that um, is interesting and terrible and somewhat frightening looking. Look at that. Lady J is an AI robot. Who knew? What in the heck? I like I put it on backwards. <laughs> Huge like mullet tough out there. That is terrible. Ah, that's horrible. This, this is the worst. That is terrible. Let's never take that hat off again. We may need to glue that on, in fact. Why? It comes off easy. Oh, man. She falls down. It's coming off. Not cool. <laughs> uh, he has this belt that's very loose. Let's move in a little bit. Okay, got all the gear out. So they all are taped in, except for me, the backpack wasn't. Uh, so we see has this action cam. Of course, what's going on for covert operations. Of course, now you probably would just use a cell phone and this humongous camera. Uh, so I've got a sidearm. It doesn't look very silent. Small knife. Uh, she has a knife pouch, I think. She does. right there um this will be right over the shoulder kind of how would she i don't know something like that all right here we have her standing up on the stand looks pretty good on the stand actually does look decent 25 bucks worth no 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 eight bucks yeah five bucks yeah 10 bucks, eh, maybe. So 10 bucks I think is the max someone should pay for Lady J, at least this version. Pretty basic, uh, that's gray and light green. Doesn't look great, 
Uh, her outfit is okay. Her gear is all right. Nothing too special about it. But decent accessories, like the knife pouch, got the belt. Uh, the spear goes in both hands. It looks pretty good. So pretty good posability, it seems like. That is Lady J. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Thank you.